Hi everybody, this is Early Medieval Embroidery and I'm Alexandra Makin. Um, so we were going to do this at the beginning of the year, 2024, and as you can see, we've not quite made it. Um, so we're actually starting at the end of the month and this should be going out at the beginning of February. And this is going to be the start of something new. I know I keep saying this, but this is gonna be the start of something new. Um, it's going to be a monthly update, very short, just explaining what I've been up to over the last month, basically giving my excuses for why I've not posted anything on the projects that I should be doing. So I thought we'd start with a recap of what we've been doing in January, and then I will tell you what we're planning to do for the rest of the year. So first of all, the big one, uh, the Bay of Tapestry recreation project. Um, the latest instalment should have gone out by the time this video gets posted, um, but if not, it will be out within the following week. Honestly, it will be. Um, and that's going to be showing you um, transferring of the design onto the ground fabric and talking about um, some chats I've had with people about different options and the research that's been done into that by other people. So that's the first one. Um, I've also been doing a lot of work, um, just finalising, working with my co-editor Gail Owen Crocker, uh, finalising those proofs and getting um, them off to the publisher for a book that's going to be published in um, April. Uh, you can see it here. And there is an offer um, to, you can go and pre-order it now. So I'll put the link to that in the caption section at the bottom. Uh, so this book is really exciting. Um, it's on the back of a, um, a session that I organized for a conference, um, gosh, back in 2019 now. And um, the reason it's taken so long to come out is mainly my fault, um, as you can probably imagine because of the YouTube videos. Um, and it is, it's in two sections, and the first section is um, people who um, research and analyse uh, textiles from the Viking world, talking about um, what they do, how they do it, why, and um, giving you updates on some research that they've been doing. And then the second part of the book um, is by uh, practitioners, people who uh, make, recreate, um, different types of textiles um, that were used throughout the Viking world and giving you their um, insights as well. So it's a really exciting project um, and please do take a look at it. Uh, so I've also been writing an article um, and tweaking um, a, a second article, which I can't really say much about at the moment because I've got to send them off to the two journals. But if they get accepted, fingers crossed they will, I will be able to give you more details about those um, as that progresses. And then obviously I've been doing uh, my university work on the Unwrapping the Galloway Horde project, uh, which is ongoing and very exciting. So what you may not be aware of is that um, the Unwrapping the Galloway Hoard project officially finishes at the end of um, this May, May 2024. Um, so I'm now beginning to look beyond and plan beyond um, May. And I think this is going to give me opportunity to focus more on um, my independent research. Um, so carrying on with that scholarly side of things, but also uh, my embroidery side as well. So I'll be um, posting more videos about exciting projects, such as the Bear Tapestry, and um, I want to um, start designing and working on more kits and um, investigating options for both face-to-face -face and online embroidery classes. Um, and this is where you guys are coming actually, because um, if you've been attended both online and face-to-face -face, uh, workshops, tell me what was good about them, what you thought um, wasn't working quite so well and why, and um, hopefully I can use that to help me develop my own workshops as well. 
And I've also uh, begun to work with um, archaeology units, um, so looking and analysing um, textiles that have been found on different excavations. So they, that's all ongoing too, which is really, really exciting. So that's it for this month. Uh, just a short update, tell you what's happened, tell you what's coming. And if I don't see you before, hopefully I will, um, I'll see you at the end of next month.